Safety and security are, of course, a huge priority. Extra police will be on campus along with state troopers. Blockades are up and metal detectors ready to go. The school does not want celebrations getting out of hand like what happened back in 2014. Now, the big watch party inside Gamble Pavilion is already sold out. Yeah, and that's where we find Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Hector Molina. He has uh, more for us right outside there. Hi, Hector. Well, Mark, what a day to be a Husky. Whether you're a student, a prospective student, or an alumni, today's the day to rep that UConn pride. And I'll tell you, Gamble Pavilion will be filled with that later on tonight. You can see about six, seven people in line right now. Obviously, that line is just going to multiply by a lot as the night goes on. But don't let those fans fool you. Those are some diehards right there. I spoke with some people who have been out there for over six hours. You'll hear from them in just a moment. Now, I was a student back in 2014. That's the last time the men won the national championship. That was also when the women won as well, a dual ship. And I'll tell you, this energy is giving me a lot of deja vu right now. Earlier today, no matter where you go on campus, from the moment we arrived, everyone is in Husky gear. And it doesn't get more college than this. We even saw a truck full of students showing off their Husky flag and honking through campus. We also went inside the bookstore where we saw a lot of merch coming off the racks as well. A lot of people buy buying that blue and white. Now, doors for the watch party don't open until 8, but UConn students Matt, Mitchell, and Braden were talking we're taking no chances. They've been here since 1.30 this afternoon to make sure they get a front row seat. We've been out here since uh, 1.30. The tip off is at uh, 9 o'clock tonight. <laughs> so we're actually doing a team effort. We're taking shifts and we're going to be in and out so that way we're always consistently in line. We were in the front row at the watch party for the first game of the Final Four. And that moment when the clock ticked down to zero and we were the first ones out on the court was just unlike anything else, and we're hoping that we get to do that again tonight. Now the doors for Gample will open at 8 o'clock tonight. There will also be watch parties at Ted's and Husky's bar on campus as well. That's the latest here in stores. Hector Molina, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right.